Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of Equipped, the series where I share my preferred loadouts and playstyles for different operators. Hopefully you can find something that you can use to improve your game in Rainbow Six Siege. Today we are going to take a closer look at Glass, the attacking sniper and the only operator with the possibility of switching freely between two sites in game, with or without magnification. In my opinion, Glass is a support attacker that can be very important on some maps and some objectives and not suitable at all on others. After the 4.2 patch his role has been a bit more clear as the addition of the Claymore is much more useful for Glass than a breaching charge in my opinion. But before we dig deeper into his role, let's take a look at the loadout. Glass is a medium speed, medium armor operator and I'm not sure if something has changed but I think he feels much lighter now than before. As far as I know he's always been a medium operator but I've always thought it was a heavy operator until I checked when doing this video. And when trying out now he actually feels lighter than before although this can just be in my imagination of course. Glass only has one choice for his primary and that is the OTS-03 Marksman Rifle. This is a high power DMR that is the only gun that can shoot through castles barricades and the only thing in the game that can penetrate the windows of the presidential plane. The sight is also special as the OTS has a flip sight that allows Glass to switch between a CQB sight and a high magnification of that sight. The magnified sight will have the same reticle as the CQB sight so it can be wise to experiment with the reticle that works best for you. I equip it with a muscle break now and I will get back to why a bit later in this video. For the secondary, Glass can choose between the GSH-18 and the PMM. The GSH has high capacity and a lower damage, and the PMM is a real powerhouse in close range, but has a lower capacity. I go with this one, as it is extremely easy to use compared to other high-powered sidearms. The PMM feels like any other pistol with low recoil and is therefore perfect for clutch situations, as you will down the enemy really fast compared to other semi-automatic pistols, and much easier than for example with the Magnum or Desert Eagle. I always go with the Claymore as this is a gadget that can be really effective. Last Sunday I did a quick tip video about it so please check it out if you want to know more about that. Personally I think Glass is great and really fun to play on maps like House, Chalet and Favelas. He is quite popular on the plain map as well but I think it's quite easy to counter him. You can just lay down inside the plane to prevent him from getting a line of sight and also peek him from multiple directions outside and take him out when he's on his favorite spot on the wing. I often think he's more annoying than important for the attacking team, but that's just me. I'm sure many of you have had great games with Glass on the plane map and of course I've been killed by him as well, but it's quite rare nowadays. When I play Glass I start out with a position far away to be able to snipe through windows, pin down enemies inside the objective room or take down defenders that try to go for a flank or reposition in some way. One thing that can make Glass quite powerful is his ability to keep the defenders from peeking certain angles or even moving through certain parts of the map. This spot in the treehouse or repelling by the stair windows are two of those spots. With the addition of the claymore it can also be a bit more safe than before if you for example plant a claymore outside the gym door leading to the back stairs outside. You can also have a teammate place another claymore below a window or door that is often used by flanking defenders. Before the patch I often use the suppressor as the damage drop off isn't that important in my opinion. You will need a couple of shots to kill an enemy at long range anyway, unless you get a headshot of course. And because of this I rather hide my position a bit and make it harder for the defenders to realize who's shooting at them and from which direction. With the addition of the muscle break though, one of the biggest problems with the OTS is gone. I think this gun has felt a bit inconsistent when it comes to follow up shots and when testing it in a custom game I realized why. With the suppressor it's hard to determine exactly when the gun has reset to its original position and because of this you will get a small spread of the bullets that of course will be greater at longer distance. You can easily miss by half a meter, although the sights seem to be in exactly the same place as your first shot. With the muscle break, you get pinpoint accuracy in the follow-up shots, although the gun jumps around a lot. As long as you wait for the gun to reset, which it does pretty fast, you will hit the exact same spot with your follow-up shots, as you can see in this clip. When I feel I've done enough from a distance, which is often when the remaining defenders seem to be returning to the objective, I move in and join my team. 
I try to keep a position in the back and provide as much cover as possible as the other operators are more suitable for breaching into the objective and engaging in CQB combat in general. Glass works quite well in CQB though as long as you don't use the magnification. You will down enemies really fast as long as you hit them and you can almost treat the gun as a shotgun in these situations. It's quite good to make kill holes as well so try to use it in that way to support the team. So to sum this up, in my opinion Glass is a great support attacker especially on house, chalet and favelas where you can open up really effective sight lines because of the breachable outer shell on these buildings. Use the claymore to make it harder for the defenders to go outside and kill you while repelling or lying in a sniping spot. And, if possible, wait until you think the remaining defenders are moving back to the objective before you make your way inside. Don't wait too long though, as laying outside doing nothing is of no use to your team. Sometimes you can't get a line of sight of any defenders and in that case it's better to join up with the team and try to cover them as good as you can from behind your squad. So that's about it for today guys. What are your thoughts on Glass and how do you like to use him? Have I missed anything you would like to add or do you have any tips of your own that you find really effective? Please share your thoughts by leaving a comment below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It's so motivating for me to get all sorts of feedback. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my future content. On Sunday, it's time for another episode of Quick Tips, and until then, I will keep being noiser. Hey, don't.